Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to do transitions. They're quite easy, they're quite simple to do. So I'll show you how they look now. So that's what the transitions look like when they're finished. So I'm going to show you how I do those. So the first thing you want to do is you want to click import and then choose your selected clips. So if you've already done a montage, you should already have that in video one so you can just go ahead and lay that on there as a track so because I'm not doing that this is a full five minute clip in this case I'm gonna have to still cut and trim to find the bits that I want so because this is a 3k uh, I get my first two kills pretty early on then we're gonna do a transition into the last kill and then after that we will do another transition into the 1k that I get. So then I find the 1k within the clip and then I trim it. So now with all that set up we can begin. So you want to start and take a look at your first clip. Like I said in this case I get a 2k and then we're going to have to insert a transition in between for the third kill. Fucking hell. So there was a 2k, so I'm going to find a place where I can split this and insert a transition. So when adding a transition, you don't want to leave it too early or too late. If you add it in too early, it will cut off the kill and it'll look rushed. And if you add it too late, the person watching will anticipate another kill even though there won't be one. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and slice right there. Then I'm going to find the last kill. Once I've found the last kill, I'm just going to go ahead and slice. Then delete all of the bit in the middle where there are no kills, where there's nothing happening. Delete that, highlight both, bring it to the front. So to begin with, I'm going to go ahead and make a composite shot. I like to click editor sequence and then hit OK. Now I'm going to start with the transition that swipes everything to the right. So we're going to go ahead and find shake. So you want to bring this all the way down to zero, make a keyframe, bring it back. And you want the keyframe where it says zero to be after the kill. If it is before the kill, the whole camera goes shaky and again it looks rushed. You want the person watching your montage to see the full kill. Once that's done, we can go ahead and change the individual controls. You want the X to be all the way to 2. And you want the Y and the tilt to be 0. Once that's done, you can bring this all the way to the end. And then increase the amount. So, now all that we want is this to swipe to the right once. So I kept the amount at maximum, increase the speed, and then move the keyframe from the left over here to the right. This way there's only one camera flick. Okay, now with that done, we can back out with the composite shot, and then make a new one. So, I'm going to clip to the right of your first composite shot, go ahead and do the same thing, make another composite shot. Then what I like to do is I like to take the shake from the first one and then copy it on over to this one. So I'm going to go ahead and add 1024 and then we're going to bring it down to zero. So that only flicks once so that's a good length. So now that we've done that then result looks like this. It's Ash by the way, sorry. Because this is a composite shot, you can do whatever you like to it now. You can add a little bit of extra glow, so easily just type in glow. And right at the end, you can increase the intensity. And when it's not spinning, you make it zero. So that when it does spin, you've got a little glow to it. Go ahead and paste that into the same here. Make the intensity 0, then 8. 
So it looks like this. It's ass. Same thing you can do with blur. There are a lot of ways of changing this up and making it more different than the last. So we're going to go ahead and use diffuse and increase the opacity. Then again when it's not shaking make it zero. Copy it on over. Make this higher and then when it's not shaking Zero. So it looks like this. It's Ash, by the way, sorry. So for the next one, we can do the swipe up. So on the end of this other composite shot, we'll import a shake, change the individual controls from X to Y. Again, add the zero as the amount, toggle the keyframe, make the amount as high as possible. Okay, as you can see, there's again the one rotation or one swipe here, and then we'll do the same onto the other. So we back out, make composite shot on the other. Paste the shake. And again, it should only spin once. This is the finished result. Ah, friendly. <laughs> Look at this. So once that's set, I have a default preset for my YouTube videos, then just go ahead and click export. At this point, you can pretty much call it whatever you want. I'll just go ahead and call it test one. So once you've named it and saved it, it will go ahead and start exporting that for you. And that's pretty much it. So if you did make it this far, feel free to subscribe. If not, that's okay. Make sure to give this video a like, it does help with the algorithm and I will continue to make more edits, montages and even tutorials because you guys asked for them. So uh, again, thank you. Fuck off. Fucking hell. It's Ash by the way, sorry. Ah, Bradley. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Oh my oh, god!